Danny, the cat here. Oh, <laughs> this is so much exciting. Huh? Felina Cats at your service. Well, that's good. And this is Marguerite Fair. And the, we are finally starting our new season of Laughter Talks. And yeah. I know I know that we decided that you should interview me so everybody knows what's going on. So you have all the questions that you think people should know about what's happening. So just oh, ask me whatever you need to know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Well, yeah, everybody knows, but you left Los Angeles, California after many years yes, and, and you packed up and moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <clears throat> That's a very bold move and we all want to hear about it. <clears throat> How was the trip? Well, I'll tell you, as far as, yes, what you said, it is a bold move and a lot of people told me that they were surprised, but uh, the trip it was uh, like everything else in life. Uh, it, it's a mixed bag of tricks because what <laughs> what happened with me was I, when I make a decision, I just usually basically go for it. Uh -huh. So what I decided to do was I decided to uh, buy a house and um, what I'm trying to do, oh, there you go. I decided to buy a house. So what happened is um, the house happened to be that I could afford in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But really what I did do, Sam, was I did a lot of uh, research and everything first before making that decision. But once I made that decision, what I did was basically I found a house in November. Right. So uh, 22, as you know, I started talking about it and I ended up moving January 30th. So uh, the weather was very ambiguous because even in California, before I left, it was getting colder. And so I did, I traveled across country, hopped up and I really had to pack my car. And I did learn how to pack a car um, very carefully, like, you know, really knowing um, where to put it. Like I, t I don't put boxes and bags in there. I just lay yeah. things out like spaghetti and then shove other things or smaller things in between right like so, you know, yeah being clear um when so you have no blind spots and stuff like oh, that oh yeah yeah because yeah you have to keep that back completely you have to be able to see completely around you so yeah um, i had to be very strategic and so <laughs> the trip went fairly well because um i knew what i was going to do and i knew what to bring with me and so that was good and um, what happened was, after living in California for like 27 years, mm -hmm. I came into Tulsa, Oklahoma through a snowstorm. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> was there a snowstorm? There was, and it started on the outside of Tulsa. Uh -oh. and, and when it did, it just kept going. But the good thing was, everybody else was getting off the road. And I was so excited to get to my new home. I just stayed on the road and the road got more and more empty. Oh. And I am an East Coast girl, so I know how to drive in the snow, go figure. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's a challenge. You have to. Yeah. So I did. So I got here and I arrived. And uh, so, like I said, it's been a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Were there any problems with your car while, while you were driving there? Um, no, the car holds up pretty well. I just uh -huh. have sometimes when I go to start it, there's a little grinding, but I did get my a new starter put in before gotcha. I moved out here, but it was just, yeah. you know, but it didn't, it didn't inhibit it. It just did it about three times. It makes you nervous when you think your car is not going to turn over, but then right. it did and it was fine. So well, that yeah, I, good. yeah. So I yeah. kept stuff and I didn't shoot any video footage or anything. I know a lot of people, there's well, why don't you do some oh. shooting, but you know, it just wasn't the time I had to focus on my driving and staying safe. And, and so I couldn't do that, but uh, you know, oh. I'm here. Well, that, that's one of the things I was wondering about were there, there was stopovers. Did you meet anyone along the way? Like any strange men? <laughs> when I travel, I'm just very careful. I interact with the people when I get gas or uh, when I stop for a meal. 
But mm -hmm. other than that, I was getting, you know, it was pretty tiring. So no, I didn't, meeting men was, I'm sorry, that's the Felina Katz in you. I, I set up this interview with, with Samantha Wagoner, but Felina Katz seems to be filtering through you. Shocker. And so yeah. no, but yeah, that wasn't, uh, no, and nobody bothered me probably because I look like a bad woman. You know, <laughs> I was really, I didn't wear makeup. I, I took a cane with me in case I had hit somebody over the head. So nobody bothered me. Yeah, so that, that was really good. It would have been interesting to have a little video. <laughs> yeah, you know, because I think if you're traveling, you have to be comfortable and you have to be careful. Yeah. And I stopped. Um, I was watching my gas gauge. And what I did was every time it went on halfway, I would pull into a gas station because I wanted to move around and I wanted to make sure that I got, you know, that was very important. And also when I was driving, I drank a lot of water. I had snacks with me. I had a bag of Brussels sprouts. I had cranberry um, juice. I had all things that were healthy, apples. Because when you're driving, what I've learned in the, from the health aspect is you don't want to be bloated. You don't want to retain fluids when you're driving because that's bad. So yeah. I managed to maintain my health. It, it didn't fall apart until I got home. So when you got to the house, when you arrived, did it meet your expectations? And um, um, how so? Well, that's a good question. And that's also a very ambiguous question because this is, a, uh, I like to also share my experiences with people so they could, it might help them along the way. But these days you can buy a home on the internet. I, that's what made me do this. I just took a chance to leap of faith. But when you buy a home on the internet, there are always little things that you don't get to see. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I, for instance, for example, my shower is not working. I still have not had it repaired because I moved into an empty house. So I have to paint. I have, I've been buying little pieces of furniture. I mean, I've really been putting it together. So I'm like a new person yeah. starting out. That's why I left California. It was too expensive, drained all my money. So mm -hmm. uh you know, but uh, so, but it's beautiful. I've got more room here now that I'm painting it and putting it together. It's a beautiful home and the repairs uh, will be taken care of. I just have to readjust my budget, but yeah. I, I just think that um, I'm glad I did it because I want it out of California and you have to be a, a, a millionaire to buy a home there now. So okay. I'm very pleased with my purchase. I have a nice two bedroom, one bath home with a big yard so much potential and the rooms are nice they're solid i have central heat and air i just have to i'm in the process of painting now so right that sounds really very you know good now that you're yeah. active and you're yeah. getting this done do you think that maybe you'll have room for a cat one day or a pet um, well, one day, you know, I never say never one day it might be, but right now, no, because the cat's a responsibility and I have a great responsibility to myself. I don't have a husband. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have friends that do things for me. I'm very independent. So to have a cat would require energy and time that I can't do right now. And I believe okay. if you have a pet, you have a, it's like a child. You can't just say, well, just leave me alone and stand in the corner. Like a cat would do that anyway. But down the road when everything's settled, then I just, this, this will take some time. Because another thing I like to share with people, and this is along the line of health, is that we really do have to take care of our health. And when you move and you're older, it takes a toll on you. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing. My back, I was in pain for three weeks. Yeah. Uh, because of the stress of driving and, and everything, because I did a lot of work before I got here. I had to yeah. clean out the old place because I was living in a friend's house. So I had a lot to go through and do. So it's really kind of like, uh, so now that's why you might see me on Facebook posting. I'm painting one wall at a time because that gives me a chance to paint the wall and rest and do other things I have to do and go out, I'll go out and get something to eat or make my food. And this is important for self-care. I do my health shakes. I'm taking my supplements. And thank God, 
for Dr. I want to give a plug to Dr. Alan Mandel on YouTube. He has fantastic videos. And my oh. sciatica, oh my God, it was, I was in pain. It kept going between my lower back and sciatica. And I found his videos with stretches that I could do in the chair. And uh -huh. it, it helped my back. It stopped the pain. That's so great. It, I was so happy. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, yeah. Well, did you meet any new friends or any neighbors at all? Or well, that yeah, what I did was uh, before I left California, you know, I'm a, I'm a good organizer and planner. And a lot mm -hmm. of people kept saying to me, well, you don't have family there. What are you going to do? But what I did, I uh, like the uh, spiritual centers and I joined the Tulsa Center for Spiritual Living. And I did that online and I met people online. And when I came here, even before I got to go there in person, uh, uh, Reverend Jeff St Staten let me know if I needed any help to call them and they would help me. Okay. So I, I go there and I've met the people now. I've already made a very good friend, Myrna. She's my new best friend here in Tulsa. And oh. I joined, yeah. So um, everyone's very loving to me, very friendly. I went to a drum circle last night at the center and uh, I joined yeah. the Tulsa. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It was fun. Like it's bongo drums. They do this in, in spirit work centers because it's all about being spiritual, having fun. And it's, it really, it's like a workout when you're doing the bongos. Yeah, I came in there with a sweater and I had to take my sweater off and my scarf off because it's <laughs> an exercise and it gets your body going. Yeah, right. And yeah. are any of the musicians? Uh, yeah, the woman who was there actually and her husband are in, they do the choir. They oh. they do the singing, like they have singing and she plays the flute and uh, other instruments. So yes, they're, and they're the ones who were there. It was a smaller group yesterday. So they said sometimes you have more people, sometimes less people, but we had fun. There were four of us and it was just, I really enjoyed myself. It was the first time I did a drum circle. Did they teach you anything about playing? Well, yeah, they just, you know, showed you like on a bongo drum, where you hit it, you can get like different sounds and they showed mm -hmm. me that. And they also had a box with tambourines and like those things that you shake. So I took a tambourine and I was playing with it. And they say sometimes people get up and dance, however the spirit moves you. Yeah, and some people will start singing. Some people move me now. <laughs> yeah, so it's really nice, and I enjoyed it a lot. And then I also went to the Tulsa. I joined the Tulsa Women's uh, Club, and we went and met in another part of town. So mm -hmm. I got to learn about that. And also, Myrna is hooking me up. I'm going to be an usher for the Tulsa uh, Performing Arts Center. Oh, and, great. Uh, so I, I can, you know, so there's just a lot going on. It's wow. like, and they have a book club, but there's more activities than I have time. Seriously, because yeah. I have to, you know, paint. I have to get my house together. I don't have a sofa yet. So I'm getting the <laughs> living room done. And I did buy a rug when I first moved in and I can lay the rug. And then I have to wait a little bit before I can get a sofa. So it's kind of a little fragmented. Yeah, but I'll get it done. And as I after the wall is decorated, I'll post it on Facebook. I should be able to do that by tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. That sounds pretty cool. Um, are the people there different than they were in L.A.? Yeah, they're friendlier. <laughs> <laughs> Trips. That's very so, good. But I miss I miss my friends and uh, I like the vibe of. LA too. That's not why I left. I left because things were just closing too much. You know how I feel. I don't like being restricted and and there aren't restrictions here like there are in California. It's so, right. Yeah. And I've got the Aurora Borealis going in back of me, which and I'm not in front of a green screen, which is why I go in and out. And I'm such a perfectionist with my green screen, but um, the lighting situation has changed and I'm still working on my setup area. So but I liked it. Don't you like that moving background? Yes, I do. It reminds me of being up in Alaska during like the yeah. time, you know, yeah. seeing all those northern lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, so how far north are you? 
Well, it's 1,500 miles away from California, and there's a two-hour time difference. Right. So, so it's kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Oh, really yeah. Bad. It's Oklahoma is right in the middle of the United States. Yeah. And all these like Texas and Arkansas and Louisiana and I've got all Missouri. I'm in the middle of all these states. I mean they're all yeah. around me. Yeah. It's really funny. Oh <laughs> or magical. Oh yeah, that place. I forget what they call it. I posted it on YouTube. They have a place in Tulsa and right in town where if you stand there, there's uh, the biggest echo you'll ever hear and nobody can hear it but you. Oh, wow. It's a, really like a magical place. It's the only place in the United States of, where you can do that. And it's in <laughs> Tulsa. So what I would like to do is as I go on, I would like to do some uh, on the road things. I would like to do some shows where I go around Tulsa and go visit and show people these things. Uh -huh. And also they do have a lot of parks out here uh, right yeah. down the street from me, not far away, they because I'm in mid Tulsa, they have uh, Joe's Water Safari Park. Um, I'm close to everything. The Tulsa Expo Center is right down down the road, um, and they have a lot of um, great places to go see with these wonderful old houses and yeah. everything. So there's and Route 66. I'm by Route 66, which has wonderful things in town. Wonderful places to eat, a lot of places to go antiquing. So there's a lot to do here. And then, as I said, the Tulsa Performing Arts Center and in town, they have other theater groups. So I'll be in touch with the entertainment committee. And, you know, I like that because most of my friends from LA are in, you know, actors or producers or in, in right. the industry. So, so you get to uh, hang out and, and um, introduce yourself and- yeah. I guess knowing, hearing that you're, you know, from LA, you know, or coming, moving from LA to Oklahoma, it must really excite people in yeah. a way. Yeah, it's, they're interested in what goes on there, but we're going to take, we've just made a date so everybody knows we're going to continue with our laughter talks that we do with the um, Netflix movie reviews. We're going to tape next week. Or the week after, and uh, I will be taping. We, I know, Felina will get so excited about that, and we'll <laughs> still be doing real fake news next month. We can do a real fake news report. I'm going to have your friend singer Kamith um, on the show. He's going to be. Uh, we're going to have a get together, and he's going to let me know what he's up to. And uh, really good. Yeah, ask ask Roberta E. So things are moving forward. Oh, and um, I'm really excited about it, but I'm glad that we took this time to catch up. And how's your cat doing? Oh, he just um, meowed before I came on and um, wanted to know what I was up to. <laughs> so I guess he was looking for attention, but he must have fallen asleep by now. <laughs> Again. I think our voices just lull him to sleep because you said he seems to enjoy uh, watching us interact. So there you go. He, he does. Yeah, fact, Elsa. and uh, I thank you so much for taking the time to interview me out of your busy day. I know you've got a lot going on too, and I appreciate it. And okay. I will see you when we're going to do our Netflix movie reviews, and I'll have all my lighting fixed by then. In the meantime, this show will be up Monday, so people know I'm alive and well, if they care. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they care. No, I have a lot of nice friends from Burbank that care, and Definitely. I do miss them. And I'm going to be like I said, working with everybody. So yeah, we all miss you. Well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Let's everybody see Zoom. About you. Yeah. Oh, that's Zoom lets us continue. I just yeah. had to be, you know, feeling better and nurse myself first and get a little more organized. And, and we can just pick up where we left off and extend it. We're going to extend it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'd like okay. to get involved in another project with you too, if anything. Yes. Yes. And I'm, I'm, more, I'm, I'm jotting down ideas for everything. And this year, we're going to have to do another Hollywood special, too. So you can start thinking about that in the back of your mind. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Oscars are coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, there you go. So, okay. So for now, I'm going to go. Okay. I love you, everybody. You're going to see subscribe go by. Please subscribe. Like us all over the place. <laughs>
Okay, you have a good day, Felina. Bye, Thanks. everybody. Take Me care. Too. Bye bye. Bye.